Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading. It will be for April 2021 for the sign of Libra. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching oracle cards. We've got a few to pull and then we'll go into the tarot reading. So what do we have for Libra please? Message for Libra and remember these are primarily messages see what we have for you Libra okay what do we have April 2021 be open to love is what I have self-love new love loving connections very nice energy okay message for Libra please angels spirits guides April 2021 remember it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you do we have for Libra please thank you memories your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit more and more memories are arising within you remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world for neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another isn't that lovely okay message for Libra please message for Libra thank you April 2021 you know these these messages are in a similar vein here we have number 17 galactic healer move forward with an open mind okay and finally before we get into the tarot cards, we have the final oracle card here. What do we have, Angel Spirits Guides, for Libra? Thank you. Thank you. I have Pig. Maintain self-worth and self-esteem. Archangels Mary, Gabriel and Uriel. Lovely energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, Libra. First card is the message from Spirit. Second card is what it will relate to and the third card is any advice any further advice okay what do we have for Libra please angels spirits guides message for our lovely Librans April 2021 thank you high priestess three of cups Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Wands. So I'm going to pull a couple of cards extra. Let's pull. I just want to get one for this Three of Cups, please. Yeah, we have the Two of Swords with the Queen of Cups. And let's clarify this Queen of Wands. have the king of pentacles there okay Libra so cards on the table people that you might be meeting I mean might know in your circle 
you know the queen of, of cups is cancer for me as a reader generally king of pentacles taurus queen of wands aries so for some of you you might be dealing with people you know who have those signs or a person who has one of those signs in your circle um the high priestess is spirit is guiding you in a specific direction you're being guided through your intuition through dreams um instinct intuition trust your instinct now because it's almost kind of like there's powerful divine guidance around you it's also an energy you know what i'm getting with that too is this memories and i'm looking at the high priestess i'm, I'm getting this energy of our subconscious can really put up blocks um, and there may well be deep patterns or some kind of like deep release, some experience or memory um, that you need to come to terms with now and release, you know. It's, it's almost kind of like you're being told the new is available to you. Uh, but, you know, you're being, you're being guided now through your intuition. But you know there are things maybe coming to the surface from your subconscious maybe memories i mean that could be weeks ago months ago years ago that need to be released in order for you to find that path forward on where spirit is trying to lead you that's definitely what i'm getting here move forward with an open mind be open to love and know that you deserve it here maintain self-worth self-esteem so i mean there's a really beautiful energy here the Two of Swords, the Queen of Cups. And the Three of Cups. I mean, this is about, it feels to do with letting the flourishing period in your life begin again. Uh, the winter is over, the spring is here. There's definitely a feeling of new growth, growth of new rewards to be reaped, of new love to be um, experienced. I mean, the Queen of Cups can be in terms of somebody who finds emotional stability. You know, this can be you as an energy, the Queen of Cups, finding emotional stability, be open to find your flow again. She's very much a flow energy. Uh, also very much an intuitive energy as well it feels in this situation Libra because we have the moon in Libra here there's a kind of feeling of, of surrender to whatever may have been keeping you stuck or blocking out truths or things that you now need to release. It feels in this situation with this Two of Swords. I'm definitely getting this energy of now is the time to start opening your mind because this is somebody who doesn't have an open mind. They're not wanting to look at the truth of a situation or they're not wanting to look at something. Um, for whatever reason, Moon in Libra and you know, you're the house of relationships. So it definitely feels that there's been some block here, some stagnation that you've been experiencing, but it feels that there is an opportunity for new love to come into your life in whatever form. That could be friendship, that could be um, true, that could be a new relationship for some of you, friends, relations, relationships. Um, it's about opening your mind now. Be open to love. Move forward with an open mind. Don't close yourself off to it. And this comes back to what I'm saying with the High Priestess. Is, is there may well be things that you need to release. These memories from the past. That may act as blocks to you moving forward. And allowing that spring energy to come in again. New growth. New abundance. Uh, new opportunities, new, you know, th you know, things beginning to happen again, the flourishing, the thriving time again, and that's what that Three of Cups is representing. Um, the winter is over, the spring is near, so open your mind to it, and that's what I'm feeling. Spirit is asking you to do, because there's definitely an energy of there's new love, um, in whichever form it is for you. The Ace of Cups. 
Yes, it can be self-love, but I'm feeling this more in terms of a new connection with the people cards on this table, somebody new, somebody new coming your way. Um, can be friendship, can be in terms of love, a romantic partner. But the Ace of Cups is a new beginning and it is that renewal energy, the feeling of positivity, the feeling of you're open to receive, the feeling of receiving love and light from the universe as the universe pours, you know, fills you up with love and light. You are the chalice. So there's definitely an energy of now is the time to awaken. I'm definitely getting this as an awakening energy. Uh, open up and it's opening up your heart as well. The lotus flowers are spiritual awakenings and new beginnings. So I'm definitely getting this this big period here of, of new is wanting to come into your life. Don't close yourself off to it. Now it could be a cancer. We also have Aries or Taurus may play a part in that. It's not limited to that. Uh, Queen of Wands, again, male or female energy, King of Pentacles. It's definitely whoever is coming in is bringing in new abundance, new stability, security, fulfillment. Um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, in this energy, I mean, if you're the Queen of Wands, for example, uh, there is an opportunity for you to take action for you to go for something now, for you to trust your intuition and act on it. Uh, that's what the Queen of Wands does. She's very intuitive. She's very connected to her instinct, her intuition. And that's how she fulfills her passions in all areas of life, by going for something, by taking action, by acting on what feels right. So definitely be governed by your instinct this month, because for some of you, I mean, the, this King of Pentacles as well, somebody who is solid, stable, secure, reliable, uh, somebody who can build your life with, but it also feels in this energy. Uh, these energies are very much saying that this is somebody that you can trust. This is something that you can build something with, you know. Um, it definitely feels in this energy, Libra. There is something beautiful coming into you. And for some of you, it feels now is the time to take action, to go for something. Don't stay stuck because of, and I'm definitely getting this subconscious energy of things from the past coming to the surface, blocking progress. So do look out for that because this is absolutely beautiful and it's available to you, the Ace of Cups. New beginnings in love. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to pull you a final card. Final message for Libra, please. Final message for Libra. So move forward with an open mind. Two, uh, two cards there, Libra. So we have Find a way to bring harmony back into your life. Take the first step, <laughs> number 42. And we have, you are a star. Step into the spotlight where you belong, number four. Lovely energy there. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Libra. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.